Question four. Now, on the surface, it looks like a really nasty question. Well, it is, it is a tricky question. Um, I would start with this, right? It's a little bit unsure of what to do. Well, let's just take these and just pop them in here. And effectively, what we're going to do is we're going to create an equation with, with only one thing that we don't know, the, the t bit. So if we just do that, just substitute these directly into here. And what are we going to get? So if we write 10 cos t squared and then plus y squared. So plus 4 root 2 sine t squared. And we know the whole lot is equal to 66. Well, OK, let's multiply these guys out. 100 cos squared t plus so 4 root 2 squared. So 4 times 4 is 16. Root 2 times root 2, that's 2. So that's going to be 32 sine squared t. And that equals 66. Right, OK, now I want to be able to write something so it's only got cos or only got sine in there. So if I look at this one, I could do this with either one, I suppose. If I look at sine squared t, I should know that that is 1 minus cos squared t. I'm going to multiply that by 32. We've still got 100 cos squared t, and that lot is equal to 66. Right, if we multiply this up and, and just tidy it up, we're going to get uh, 68 cos squared t, uh, 30, 34. Um, divide both sides by the 68, and then that gives us cos squared t equals a half. So cos t is equal to plus minus root a half. Root a half is a quarter. So plus minus a quarter. Right. OK, well, we're, we're, we're nearly there. So now what we're actually after, we're after this particular point down here. So I might need to consider kind of both values of, of t just to think about what's going on. Well, first of all, let's consider the, the positive value of t. Um, so if we say cos t, so that's equal to a half. And then let's consider cos t equal to minus a half. So working with this one, first of all, that would give us pi over 4. And then working with this one, just doing arc cos of these would give me that value there. Now, if I now substitute these in to my x value, um, remember I'm interested in this one over here. So I'm interested in the positive value of x. So if you just pop this one in and just see what happens. So we get x equals, so 10 cos pi over 4. Um, so if I do that, that's actually going to give me um, 5 root 2, right? Just plug that into your calculator, okay? So that's actually going to be, that's one part of our solution. I haven't got the y part. Now, what I do know about the y part is it's going to be negative. Now, I'll be honest, it actually, it took me a moment to actually think about what to do here because I popped this into y and I got a positive answer and I thought, okay, let's pop this one into y then and that'll give me, and of course, it gives you a, uh, gives you a positive answer. But what we are missing up here is the different values that t could be, because we're told here that t can take anything from 0 to 2 pi. So I got pi over 4, but also it could be 7 pi over 4. If you just think about what cos looks like, something like that. OK, so we've got a value here, we've got a value over here somewhere. Um, if I do the same with, with this one, going to have 5 pi over 4. So if I substitute this into our y value, fingers crossed, we then get a negative answer. So 4 root 2 sine 7 pi over 4. And if you do that, just, just pop it into your calculator. That's absolutely fine. And you'll get y equals minus 4. So the coordinate of this point down here is 5 root 2 minus 4. Now, obviously, we could have explored the other points as well, but we can see, well, we can see what they are because it's nice 
nice symmetry going on there, isn't there? Okay, there we are.